To do well on the PSAT, you need to know how to solve absolute value inequalities. So let's take a look at this practice problem. So we have the absolute value of 1 3rd C minus 4 is less than or equal to 10. Okay, so how do we solve absolute value inequalities? Well, basically what we want to do is take everything inside of the absolute value function. Now this is assuming that the absolute value function is isolated on one side of the inequality. So in this particular case it is, so we're going to take everything inside of this absolute value function and surround it by this inequality right here. So that's going to be less than or equal to 10. But over here we're going to put a negative 10 and put the same sign. So this is going to be negative 10 is less than or equal to, and then over here we're going to have less than or equal to a positive 10. Now in the center we're going to put 1 third C minus 4. Okay, so this is the setup and now we have a compound inequality and we want to go ahead and clean this uh, compound inequality up for C. So what we're going to do is add 4 to all sides of the inequality. So over here we're going to have negative 10 plus 4. This is going to be negative 6 is less than or equal to 1 third C is less than or equal to 14. Okay, so now to get C all by itself inside of this compound inequality, we need to multiply everything by 3. So we'll multiply this 1 third by 3. We'll get C right here in the center. And then 14 times 3 is going to be, we'll do this uh, simple math right here. So this would be 12. So this would be 42 on this side. And then over here we'll have 3 times this negative 6. That would be negative 18. Okay, so our final answer is negative 18 is less than or equal to C is less than or equal to a positive 42.